All right, guys, a unusual video for today. I know that today we usually have a what I eat in a day, but that will be coming tomorrow. So every video that's scheduled for this week will probably be pushed one day forward. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be talking about the Samira video that she did upon me. And um, I'm not surprised at the amount of hate that I'm getting. A lot of the people that seem to be funneling from her TikTok page into my YouTube or any of the other social medias. Um, seem to be very hive minded and uh, it's uh, it's okay you know I I, under, I totally understand it you know poke the beehive and and the bees start coming so completely a okay so we're gonna get into it today we're gonna watch this quick video that Samira put out on us and uh, I want to thank everybody that's also here right now good looks for the views I appreciate it and we're gonna so let's let's get into this video real quick it's not that long it's about a minute so shouldn't be that long of a video today but anyway let's go into it really quickly that even though you go to five locations in los angeles somehow you think that means that that's an indication of all plus size selections in forever 21 that's not how that works at all even the times when there is a true that's that's a fact dude i i don't know much about forever 21 but i guess the main quarrel with samira is that anytime i've ever like her more recent videos seem to be all predominantly focused on the plus size selection at a variety of stores not really having any plus size selection which is you know, understandable. And if you watch any of my previous videos, I do think that fat people should have clothing items. The problem that I that the problem that I always have is instead of taking the initiative, instead of like looking at your own problem as your own problem, a lot of people tend to externalize a lot of their issues. And I also see a lot of the times that they're failing to understand that the reason why there's not plus size selections in a lot of these stores is because they just don't sell. Like they're just not, you know, it, it, back in Gap, I think when they had was it Gap or it's, it was Old Navy? In 2020, they did have a giant plus size selection, no pun intended, and they had to discontinue it. I think around 2022, 2023, because their own words were, it just didn't sell. We just did, we weren't selling enough product. Therefore, we have to take off the shelves. It's not profitable. And that's one of the main reasons why most of this stuff is not in the stores. It's just because it's not very profitable. Also, one of the main reasons as well is it's very difficult to size people of size like if you're a plus size individual or you're a very 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 voluptuous individual depending on how much you weigh i'm sure that if you're like in the 200s depending on how much in the 200s like the early 200s it probably wouldn't be as bad but once you start increasing the weight it becomes substantially higher to scale those clothes properly so you know the pants the shirts things like that are not going to fit appropriately compared to somebody of my size or somebody of a traditional body standard because uh well it just comes down to this. If you're like 300 pounds, where you put that weight is going to be distributed differently depending on the person, right? So if you're 300 pounds and I'm 300 pounds, maybe my weight all went to my stomach while your weight all went to your thighs. And then what do you do at that point? You're going in to buy these pants that you thought a plus size model was wearing and that you thought you were going to fit it, but you can't. It's not how it works because not everybody's credit equal, especially when you're at that size. That's why I think it's probably more beneficial to lose the weight and get into a normalized body standard. Um, and then buy clothes from that. Anyway, there's a plus size selection in the store. That's not going to satisfy Samira. I've True. seen many times of her going into a store and seeing the plus size selection. It could be an entire floor in some cases, and she'll still go, mm, it's not good. I don't True. like it. By Dude, the way, uh, there are many videos that we have done on Samira. I know a lot of people are focusing on the Forever 21 one, but uh, there's a lot of videos on my channel about Samira, maybe four in total. So you could check out any of those. There have been many times, and even on her TikTok, where she's gone into several stores that had entire sections dedicated to plus size, and she was still disappointed by it. And I understand why she might be upset about it, because maybe it's not the appropriate clothing, but too many times I see this woman just be disappointed. And I do believe the, the entire reason why she's disappointed is because she, that's the entire purpose. That is the that is the purpose. She is not going to be satisfied by even the uh, the bare minimum, which is uh, more. She's getting more than the bare minimum. So anyway, hey, Samira, there needs to be something done with your hair. Why is it so goddamn dry? It looks true. It was very dry in this video. I know a lot of people were calling me out on this. And they were. I guess I understand that being a black woman there's a lot of people out there that would say that having hair, right? It, taking care of your hair as a black woman is very empowering or whatever. I get that. I totally understand that. Uh, but it was dry. Okay. It was dry. I know that maybe you can have this idea of like, why even bother bringing it up? Yeah, you got a point. Why did I bother bringing it up? It's, uh, that's my bad. But even still, it was dry. Um, there's, uh, it's just what it is on that one. She did improve her hair though. Her hair does look vastly improved. Good for her for the improvement of her hair. We all have days where we look slightly deteriorated every once in a while. So it is what it is, right?
burnt the fuck up at the end. You need to be doing something about that shit, okay? Mm. Take care. Take better care of your hair. I don't feel bad for you, Samira. You should take the initiative and lose some weight so that way you can fit into regular people clothes. If you watch the video, and it's true, I agree 100%. And I also think it's really weird that Samira didn't actually go over any points at all in that video. That video is about 50 minutes long, and I was actually going through reasons why, if you are fat and you're struggling to find clothes, solutions and ways in order to alleviate that problem. And instead, uh, she chose to only only focus on the things that I guess she thought she could win. Um, I guess, you know, pointing out the hair thing. It was an easy, it was an easy uh, pull for her, obviously. I don't know if she watched the entire video. I hope she did because there is, there's a lot of stuff in that video. And I know a lot of people are watching that video right now. And it's very easy to focus on that 30 minute segment. And at the end here where I do my compliments, which I do at the end of every one of my videos. I, it's very easy for you to, to pick that instead of looking at the actual things that I was saying. Right. Um, but it's, it's obvious. Like I, you know, it's seeing it from her perspective. It, I would see why she would choose to focus on that instead of anything else, that, anything else that I would say. Um, but you know what? It's a very easy video for her to make. So I don't blame her. I totally understand why she would make this video. It's understandable. It's entirety and, or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in BBW. Cause we're all beautiful big black women that's True. what i am that's i'm a big black woman okay that's what True. i'm representing i'm a queen i'm a goddess um hashtag in my era i'm in my mean girl era dude it is what it is yes i don't understand what the point like was was that bad at the end of the video saying that i'm a black queen what's wrong with that dude <laughs> what was wrong with that man I, I didn't understand that also uh yeah if you're upset by that video um great you know happy happy for you being upset by that video please check out the other samira videos if you're interested in those ones and i think all you have to do is just go on my channel and type in samira and you'll find the rest of those videos um like i said it's very easy for samira to just point out the one or two things that she thought was wrong i think it's also weird that she chose to focus on those two things that's very light that those two things are very very light but what about the actual idea of that video like what about what i was saying what anything meaningful in that video at all like what i was saying about responsibility and taking control of your life and like actually trying to better yourself through the processes of a calorie deficit it's you know it's fine if samira wants to focus on the things that she knows she can win battles on that's fine she could pick a battle i was open to talking to samira but i don't think that she's trying to talk to me at all which is fine by the way she could totally just not talk to me but it seems like um she knows that she can't she can't like beat me on the arguments that are actually valuable which are calorie deficits calorie uh diet and exercise and trying to fit into the world that's already pre-created i know it's very easy for a lot of people nowadays to go into the world and externalize a lot of their issues. Oh, the world has this problem. The world has that problem. It's true. The world does have a lot of problems, a lot of systemic issues. I totally agree with that. But when it comes to things like diet and exercise and you complaining about things like, uh, you know, not being able to fit in clothes, I understand it. I really do. I think fat people should have clothes, but it seems a little bit ridiculous when literally you're going to have a problem with almost anything at a size like that because uh, we have stairs in the world. We have a very, very... Um, when we're talking about like navigating our society, it's definitely very, very aerobic. Okay. And sure, things have definitely gotten more and more sedentary as life has gone on. So you're definitely right about that. But that's not an excuse. You should always be trying to be as physically active as possible since you don't have a reason to be physically active anymore. Like maybe 100 years ago, you had to because you didn't have a choice because there's more physically demanding jobs. But nowadays, there's really not that much. It seems like we tend to export a lot of those physically demanding jobs, especially here in the West. But you should still be able to find a way to use your legs or use pieces of your body in an aerobic way. And then also, um, given the fact that food in our country is relatively accessible and relatively cheap, and I see a lot of plus size people, a lot of fat people. Uh, yeah, you should probably take the incentive too and realize that you're not supposed to be eating um, so much. Uh, sometimes it may not even be eating. Sometimes you just might be consuming too many calories. It's very, it's very possible that somebody could drink a 300, 400, 500 calorie drink from Starbucks and not even realize it. So there's, there's that. So you might be just drinking your calories away. Um, it's not good to be maintaining 300 pounds or 400 pounds uh, for years on end. It's just not very good at all. So. There's that. Um, I appreciate you guys, by the way, everybody that watched this video today. I hope that this was an enlightening experience. Uh, like I said earlier, Samira not actually pointing out any of the actual things that I said in that video, instead only focusing on the things that she knew she could win battles on. Uh, it's fine. It's, it's a little grimy, but it's fine. It's okay. Uh, it's fine. If I know a lot of people think that I'm racist. I don't know how you can deduce that I'm racist through microaggressions and or uh, me saying that I'm a BBW and or her hair was fried. 
That's fine. You can go ahead and do that. You got very low standards if that's the case. I would love to know what you actually think about a uh, racist person. That's It's completely fine, though, by the way, if you want to call me racist or misogynistic. That's completely fine. I've heard a lot of people actually say, like, why don't you do videos on men? Why don't you do videos on the, like, men in these communities? I want you to, like, go on TikTok right now, type in fat acceptance and scroll and see how many men there are within that community. There's, like, maybe five in total, okay? There's, there's, there's a few, but they're not very – they're not – there's not that many, okay? There's a few, but not that many. So, uh, yep, definitely totally okay. Appreciate everybody here watching this video today. If you watch the video's entirety and or you're here right now, um, I'd appreciate if everybody can leave a like, comment, subscribe, or dislike. It seems like a lot of people here are probably going to dislike the video, which is fine, by the way. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in nasal spray because I've been using a lot of nasal spray recently because I realized how effective it is in clearing out the sinuses and clearing out the nasal cavity and ensuring that I get proper airway. And that's uh, beautiful for me. I really, really love it. So... It's my new favorite thing. I've been doing it almost daily, and it's very, very important for me to have good, clean airways. So I appreciate it. Uh, the nasal spray, and I appreciate you as well. You're a beautiful, spectacular human being, and you smell delicious today. It's a shorter video today. I hope you guys don't mind. But anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.